time talking I make saves like this or this every weekend. This week's match saw us back in action in the league as we visited Head and Rangers East Side. After last week's solid friendly win, we looked to replicate our performance. So we are into the match. With mere seconds on the clock, we had our first chance to spend to defend this header before Ella passed the coops, who put a great ball over the top for Archie C to chase. He took the ball and drove into the air before shooting wide. After a few half chances for us, Hedden then had their first shot as some nifty passing allowed Hedden fall to split our defence, have a great one at goal, which saw me out quick to narrow the angle and get a palm on the ball to turn it away for a corner. After defending the corner, Arch C ran it down the left wing for pulling it back across the face of goal. Head and 12 got a touch on the ball, taking it from Alfie, who arrived at the back post. After holding the ball, Alfie played it back for Arch K, whose shot hit six before it came back up for a second shot, which also hit six, and then looped up for the head and keeper to catch. A head and throne was initially headed away by Arch Hill, which fell back for 18 Hill, looping by from fire out. The shot all cross had me back pedal and with the bounce before the bounce to gather up. We then gave away a free kick as a double team tackle from Archie and Kenny halted the Hedden's run. The free kick from 30 yards out plus was smashed in as it sailed over my outstretched arm putting the home team in front. A throw from Kenny was defending but the ball was won back by Coops who slipped Chancellor on the left wing. His determination to keep the ball in a battle and then brought another half chance as Archie got a shot off which was gathered by the Hedden keeper. The head and keeper had this rocket kick from hands which had me out to clay with Archie L shielding the ball from the headed forward. After another few half chances for us, Chaz was again down the left wing, driving past two for a lofting across from, from the byline. His ball was found by Alfie who tried to lift the header into the top corner but I got a bit too much on it as the ball was hit over. Will thwarted a head and attack as he held the ball up for passing to Kenny. The ball flowed from Kenny with bounce, which eluded the first head and defender for the second miscontrolled it, allowing Archie C to nip him. He took the ball wide and just inside the box flashed a cro shot across the face of goal, pulling his level. A minute later, we nearly took the lead as Archie L throwing again eluded the head and defence with this bounce. This gave Chaz the chance to run in behind, who tried to get a better shooting angle on his left foot, only to see his shot blocked. We continue to press as Spencer, Ella and Chaz defended before Coops takes it inside our half. His drive forward into the head and half it had him beat two players for a little dink over the top for Alfie. He made a touch control it before smashing it high into the net, giving us the lead. Sorry Alfie, but the goal was off camera as the camera one was too busy watching the game and not recording it. Another booming kick from the head and keeper then ha ha nearly had me as a blooper and the ball bounced up, hitting my thigh instead of trying to kick it clear. Thankfully, Archie cleaned up my misjudgment. We then had a great chance to extend our lead as this threw ball from Kenny had Archie C free after beating the offside trap. Holding the ball on the edge of the box, he switched to his favourite left foot for hitting it just wide. Spencer headed this down, which Ella then flicked up for Alfie to head on to Archie C to chase. He took it inside the box to find a low shot, which hit the head and keeper. Chaz then took the loose ball, pulling it back from the byline for a win. Alfie and Archie K. Alfie's sl sl slide though was off target and came back to Chaz, who was now offside. A long throw from Spencer was flicked on, which showed Coops going close from the edge of the six-yard line as his shot was hit over. We continued to press with a flurry to attempts being blocked, saved or defended for a head and goal kick was battled back in midfield by Arch K. His long range low shot skipped across the ground and under the keeper. Again, sorry for the terrible cameraman. So at half time we found ourselves in control at 3 1 up and quite frankly, no disrespect to Hedden, we should have been out of sight with the amount of chances we have had. Another bad cameraman moment missed a great top bins from Ella who took a touch to control before lashing one of the half leg, which brought a fantastic save from the Hedden keeper. Straight from the kickoff, we was at it again. Alfie passed back to Archie L. He passed to Will, who pushed forward before passing to Kenny. Kenny's ball over the top for Archie C to chase, so I'm pushed inside the box for shooting over. 
A throw from Spencer, which was first kicked up by Coops, then Alfred for Ford to Archley. It didn't one over for Chaz, who was in space and attempted to take the shot first time on his left foot, but the head and keeper with a big hand at serve it. We gave another free kick away in a dangerous position, which was luckily this time was hit lower and cleared away by Kenny. Spencer battled the ball back in the right back position before hitting a great ball forward to Archie C. Fortunately, on the head and keeper was out quick together. A wayward head and goal kick fell straight to Chaz, who controlled it, pushed it on and hit a strike at goal, which the head and keeper made to another serve. Alfie challenged well with three against three head and players before crossing the ball in the box for Ethan, who had just been subbed on. He, his head was flicked up and over the bar. Tom, who was also subbed on, picked up this loose pass for Flayant's Coops, who placed another weighted pass for Archie C to attack. He attempted to lift it over the head and keeper as it came out, but also lift it over the bar. Kenny had then had another ball over the top for Archie C to chase. He drove to the edge for shooting high, which brought another great save from the head and keeper. A long Kenny throw this time was controlled by Alfie, who knocked it past the head and defender, flashing a shot across the face of goal. Seconds later, Alfie had another chance as Spence played Ethan and who ran in behind before crossing low to Alfie, whose shot skewed off the top of his foot and ran wide. Finally, pressure played off as Chaz chased his goal kick down, which allowed Archie C to cut the ball out forward. He broke into the box with an angle closing, and he unselfishly squared it for Alfie to put the ball in at the far post, putting us far up. We then put the game to bed as Kenny and Coops battled to get the ball out on the left wing. With Coops coming away with the ball, he put another peach of a pass forward for the Archie seat and Alfie was there. It was big guy up top that took his first time on his right foot, bagging himself for hat trick. Hello, yes, I know. Hat trick. Yes. Well, look, Coops. Well nice one, Alfie. With not much action after that, we saw the last few minutes of the game out winning the game 5-1. With the chances we had, it could easily double that, but hadn't held firm. On another day, Charles and Archie could have had a hat-trick, each as well as another few for Alfie, especially with the ball forward from Kenny, Coops and Spencer. Props to the head and 18, she's a great defender, has a cannon of a throw, and denied Alfie, Chaz and Archie C several times. No game next week, so our next game is against Tickton. Catch you then. December now, isn't they?